Okay, so there is a problem with virgin bunnies or also, or and, bunnies that haven't been bred in a long time. They get to where they don't, hi kitty, you're moving my arm. Kitty, go away. Um, this bunny, this bunny, we have tried two different bucks with her. With the first one, she would raise for me. But he was also a virgin, and so he didn't know what to do. So for the first one, she... Oh, kitty, get off of me. Thank you. Um, so she fought it out with our first buck. They really did have quite a tussle, and she was making noise like, Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I hate you. And after they had gone the rounds a bit, and they nipped at each other and spun in circles, then she lay down and raised her tail for him. So they lay down on their belly and she raises up her hind end a little bit. So that's called raising, she, she raised for him. But at that point he got confused and his little unit, which is kind of pink, poked out to where you could see that he was a boy, but he couldn't figure out what he was supposed to do at that point. Which I've never seen that before. I've never seen a buck run, run around with his little his little unit out like that <laughs> I've never seen that but so she, at that point she was raised and ready to go and he couldn't figure it out so we have a buck that is good at breeding that we have bred other does with and we put him in with her and what she did in their small cage in their normal cage was that she stood up on her hind hind legs with her front legs up on the cage so that he couldn't get to her and she wouldn't come down and um, so she was like standing, standing up so that she couldn't, he couldn't get anywhere near her. So this is our big uh, hotbed frame that we've kept rabbits in before. And I have it hooked up so that rabbits can't get out. And I have her in here and we tried our new rabbit, our new buck in here that we know is a good buck. And um, put him in here with her. And she ran in circles and ran in circles and tried to get away from him. They never fought. They just ran in circles. And he was willing. But I don't know if maybe she isn't putting off the right pheromones right now or what. He, he tried to breed the wrong end of her. And I haven't seen him really do that before. So I know that rabbits do have a cycle. I know that a lot of people say that their cycle is started by breeding, that they, that's actually when they ovulate is when they are bred. And so a lot of times people will breed them in two consecutive days. Breed them one day and then put them back in and breed them the next day to see if the ovulation is better. So yes, kitty, I see you. I see you, but I don't want you in my face. Hi. And so I have her in here in this bigger space. I'm hoping that they'll fight it out just a little bit tomorrow when I put her him back in and that then she'll raise and be bred and then I can put her back in her normal cage. Um, yeah, virgin bunnies are awesome. They have no idea what they're doing and it just drives me crazy. Or, or again, if you get off schedule and you're not breeding your bunnies all the time, they can get, um, my understanding is that they can actually go infertile. That if you wait like six months in between breedings that you can have problems with your fertility. Um, that certainly seems to play true in, in our area. The people I know that breed um, as soon as the babies are weaned or even uh, breed just, uh, I think he said he breeds them 21 days after they kindle, he breeds them again. He has awesome fertility and lots and lots of rabbits and healthy rabbits. Um, and the people that I know that don't breed that frequently, that don't breed that soon after their doe kindles um, have a harder time keeping keeping their bunnies going. So, rabbits, I, even though they say breeding like rabbits, there there is some trickiness. And I don't know if that's because um, they're in cages that mean that their cycles are not as natural or because we we manage them intensively in the small cages if, if it just makes it harder I don't know but there can be a trick to getting your bunnies bred and kindling and doing a good job so there we go
We'll see how she does. She's a pretty rabbit. She has a really nice long back, nice and round. And I'd really like to keep her. She's sure pretty doe. We got her for free from a friend. They had put a plastic water bottle or a plastic water bowl in with the buck and he ate it and died. And um, she was the survivor and they decided that since they were moving, they didn't want her to worry about bunnies. So they just gave her to us. And she's a pretty thing. Um, so anyway, we have food and water out here for her and a little bucket she can get into. And this is protection so that if there were hawks or anything that came over, she could climb under that and she'd have some protection. So, and I closed this off so that there wasn't quite as much space for them to be running around in circles in. Um, but she could just hop over that if she wanted to. She could actually hop over any of it if she wanted to, but because they're used to living in cages, they have a tendency to think there's a ceiling on everything. So um, anyway, so if you're if you're frustrated because your bunnies aren't getting bred and your bunnies aren't getting bred, stick with it. Bring in some new stock, um, some stock that's been bred regularly, and get yourself into a system and a cycle and try different bucks with different does. Sometimes they, like I have two bucks and she prefers the first one, but he doesn't know what he's doing. So just keep trying and there's all sorts of inexpensive rabbits out there and as long as um as long as they're not sick you know you're not hurting anything by trying um trying different rabbits until you yourself get the swing of things she's a pretty little thing so anyway we'll talk to you later